uh, agency here you can see a one advertisement here you can see a lot of see a lot of 3d uh, gradients elements here so based on these inspiration uh, let's create some 3d shapes in illustrator so just open your illustrator and here you can see a uh, create a new so we have to create a new artboard and you, you will get a lot of preset here so go to art and illustration and get full hd size and press create button now this is our uh, this is our artboard now i will show you the basics of uh, the blending tool so we are going to use this blend tool so before starting the actual tutorial i will show you the what is how to use the blend tool so just press here so you can access all these uh, shape tools so i'm going to create a new star tool and just click and drag now here you can see it's just a uh, white and black uh, stroke and fill color so we don't want this stroke so just click here then none make it delete just delete this stroke color and we have to change this fill color so just double click on here you can change this fill color so make it into red just a sample now just hold here you can you'll get all you can access all these shape tools now just create a rectangle and click and drag so yeah that's all and just change the color into something different so you don't have to follow right now just watch it because i'm going to show you what is the basics of blend tool so just select both shape then choose this blend tool w is the shortcut now if you press middle of this shape then press middle of next shape so it will automatically blend from this shape to this not just shape even the colors also so select this sh blend blended shapes and if you double click on this blend tool you can access the properties now uh, you can change the spacing and everything uh, here change the sp sp spacing into specified shape so if i change the specified step into 50 and just scroll into 4 or 1 see you can see these all the steps the blending so if you increase you can you will get a smooth blend here anyway just press ok that's all so this is the basics of blend tool now let's start uh, the actual tutorial the 3d shapes so here we need a uh, gradients so if you don't have any if you if you want a really cool gradients i will show you later anyway before that uh, just create a ellipse use the ellipse tool and shape create a new circle so don't release your mouse if you before releasing your mouse press shift key then you will get a proper uh, circle otherwise it will uh, skew stretch it will stretch uh, it's, it's become a oval shape you will not get the proper circle so to get the proper circle just hold on the shift key that's all then you will get a proper circle so create a new circle to copy uh, you can select this and control c control v you can copy paste or just select this shape and press alt in keyboard hold on then click and drag then you will get a copy of this shapes these are the basics of illustrator i think you already know these shortcuts anyway uh, just scale this again when you are scaling these shapes just press the shift key then you will get the proper the same proportion see I'm going to reduce the size and reduce this size also a little bit now we are going to use some gradients so if you want to if you want to get the gradients uh, use this ui gradient sites so, uh, uigradients.com uh, in here you will get a lot of very cool gradients uh, just press the next button 
സി ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ബ്രാൻഡ് ഇൻഗ്രീഡിയൻസ് ആർ യു അവൈലബിൾ ഐ തിങ്ക് ദിസ് ഇസ് റിയലി കൂൾ സോ ഇഫ് യു വാണ്ട് ടു കോപ്പി ദിസ് വാല്യൂ ജസ്റ്റ് ക്ലിക്ക് ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി കോപ്പി നൗ ബാക്ക് ടു ഇലിസ്ട്രേറ്റർ നൗ വി ഹാവ് ടു ചേഞ്ച് ദ ഫിൽ കളർ ഇൻ ടു ട്രൈനോ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ സോളിഡ് കളർ നൗ ഇൻ ടു ഗ്രേഡിയൻ സോ ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ സി ഗ്രേഡിയൻ നൗ ദ ഗ്രേഡിയൻ വിൻഡോ വിൽ വിസിബിൾ ഇഫ് If you don't see this window, then go to Windows, then click here, the gradient window. Control F9 is the shortcut. Anyway, select this. And here you can see two nodes, black and white. See, the same. I'm going to zoom this. Same here you can see. To change this white color, just double click here. And click here and select RGB. Then you can paste your hex code because we already copied and the color code from that website then just control v you can paste the color value here see the red color already here now back to the website and click the second color then just double click here change into rgb and control v see you will get the same gradient here also now to change this colors also gradient and let's find another different colors mm, i think no not this i think this is better so just copy this color hex code and control control v back to website control just copy double click and select this control v that's all now select both shapes go to blend tool and click the middle of these shapes and again click the middle of these shapes so it will automatically blend from this shape to this now uh you just have to increase these steps so select this and double click on this blend tool and change the spacing into maybe 150 yeah let's see see it's a straight blend now we have to change uh, the blend shapes into some different spline so go to pen tool here p is a shortcut and you can change this fill into you can remove this fill and you can enable this stroke and create shape, shape something like this and use the selection tool now i'm going to just reduce the size now select both uh, both shapes these shapes and this blend go to object blend and replace spine see it will automatically replace the spine if you double click here you can select this shape and you can adjust you can rotate you can adjust everything you can do it from here only and also you can move sorry also you can um, double click so you can move these shapes to get different angles and so with this direct selection you can adjust this handle and yeah that's all so it's very simple actually you can you get a lot of uh, a lot of control over, over this get 250 then you will get a smooth so that's all it's very simple actually now select this come to here now if you have any text like uh, you can apply into any text say for example here but the thing is you have to choose one cursive font so 
don't know any i think yeah i think this is better now select the pen tool and trace it just create a one a single straight line so if you if you can create something like this and yeah that's all now the problem is a fill color so change into stroke and now you can delete this and just increase the size here i think if you select this direct selection tool click here you can adjust this handle or you can smooth like this so i'm going to show you the basics of this thing only right? now let's blend these two shapes select both shapes and go to blend tool and so click on the middle of this shape and middle of this shape so it will automatically blend now what you have to do select both this spline and this blend then go to object blend and replace spine but the problem here you have to add more subdivisions so select this and double click on this blend tool and change the smooth into specified step and make it to 200 let's see i think 200 is not enough so i think better in specified distance then just reduce the size that's all then press ok so you can create a 3d shapes and everything based on that and if you want to replace these colors so just double click on here select this and if you press i on keyboard you can access the eyedropper then just click here see you can instantly access any any shapes any gradient you can just copy the gradients so it's very simple that's all so on the next tutorial uh, i will show you how to use these elements on your photograph so that's very simple to make it some glowy effect glowing effects and everything so stay tuned for more tutorials